Vectors and Scalars What is a physical quantity? Any quantity that can be measured is a physical quantity. Physical quantities are classified as vectors and scalars. The physical quantities which require only magnitude for their complete specification are called scalars or scalar quantity. They can be added up based on ordinary rules of algebra. Quantities such as mass, temperature, speed, time, density, etc. are scalars. Consider a freely falling body under the action of gravity. Here the motion of the body is one-dimensional and hence the distance travelled in a given time is a scalar. The motion of the coins on a carom board is two-dimensional. Similarly, when a spacecraft moves in space, the motion will be three-dimensional. Here the concept of direction becomes more primal. Now there is a need to define a quantity which has both magnitude and direction. Such quantities are referred to as vectors or vector quantities. Velocity, acceleration, weight, force, momentum, etc. are vectors. Representation of Vectors A vector is represented by a straight line with an arrow head. The length of the line is equal to or proportional to the magnitude of the vector and the arrow head shows the direction. The magnitude of the vector is represented as shown and read as modulus of vector OA. Types of vectors. Vectors can be classified as collinear vectors, unit vectors, co-initial vectors, negative vectors, zero or null vectors, position vectors. Collinear vectors. Collinear vectors are those vectors which act either along the same line or along parallel lines. These vectors may act either in the same direction or in the opposite direction. If two collinear vectors act in the same direction, then the angle between them is zero degrees. And such vectors are called parallel vectors. If two collinear vectors act in opposite directions, then the angle between them is 180 degrees or pi radians. Such vectors are called antiparallel vectors. Unit vector. A vector having unit magnitude is known as unit vector. It is used to denote direction. Any vector A can be expressed in terms of unit vector as the product of A and A cap. A is modulus of the vector A. Here A cap is the unit vector. A cap is also read as A carrot or A hat. The unit vector can be obtained by the formula A cap is equal to vector A divided by modulus A. Co-initial vectors Co-initial vectors are the vectors which have the same initial point. Shown here are four co-initial vectors A, B, C and D. Negative vector. A vector is said to be negative of a given vector if its magnitude is the same as that of the given vector, but reverse in direction. Vector B is the negative of vector A. Zero or null vectors. Zero vector is a vector which has zero magnitude and arbitrary direction. It is represented as shown. Here are some of the properties of this vector. When a zero vector is added to any vector A, we get the same vector A. When a zero vector is subtracted from vector A, we get the same vector A. When a zero vector is multiplied by a non-zero scalar, 
we get 0 vector. When a vector b is multiplied by 0, we get a 0 vector. Position vector A vector whose initial point is fixed is called a fixed or a localized vector. If the initial point of a fixed vector is at the origin of the coordinate system, it is called a position vector. A position vector is used to locate the position of a particle in a plane.